There's no doubt that dogs will become our valuable allies while trying to survive during the zombie apocalypse. Just like those people you need on your team, different dog breeds will have their advantage when the time is finally here. From dogs who will aid you in hunting to dogs that will help you protect your stronghold, here are the best dog breeds for the zombie apocalypse. Hey guys, this is American Eye, bringing you another great video. Number 12, Irish Wolfhounds. If this dog could scare off wolves, maybe it could scare off zombies, maybe. Irish Wolfhounds are known as the tallest of all dog breeds, growing 32 inches tall on all four legs. The dog is making this man here look like a teenage girl on prom night, towering over him. They are calm and sweet and get along with their owners. Their history is rather intriguing as well. It's believed that these dogs have been in Ireland since 7000 BC and were even used in battle. Some believe they were able to take a knight right off his horse. These were also exclusively owned by royalty in the 19th century and used for hunting. If you have allergies though, this dog might not be the one for you. It often sheds its long fur and you'll basically be finding hair everywhere you go. Number 16, the Koi Wolf. The Koi Wolf is a mix between a coyote and a wolf, and if somehow you were able to tame one as your pet, you could train it to do some cool stuff. You can tell in this photo that it shares strong characteristics of both its parents. Only cases in the northeastern United States confirms the existence of this mix. Coyotes have expanded their habitat, which begin to make this a possibility and make it a new top predator in the area. Other hybrids were created via artificial insemination, and maybe at a young age, they'll have a better chance of domesticating one. What would give you an advantage here is that they turn out much larger than your average coyote with extremely powerful jaws. Wolf hybrids can also be created with domesticated dogs, but be careful or your dog might turn out to be lunch. Number 15, the Akita. Also known as the Great Japanese Dog, this breed can be slightly aggressive and are also great guard dogs because of their alertness. They commonly participate in hunting and guarding activities and are actually quite low maintenance. When not protecting you from intruders into your zombie apocalypse compound, it enjoys time at the dog park and being playful and energetic towards children. The Akita does, however, need some training before it's introduced to kids since it doesn't handle being teased with ease. It has a long tail and is double coated, meaning that it will shed a lot. Number 14, the Afghan Hound. This aristocratic dog is tall and slender with a narrow head and powerful jaws. Its long, thick, silky coat can be a variety of different colors, but is often described as sand color. This won't mean too much during the zombie apocalypse, but it doesn't have to win best in show for it to be useful. It's been described as a king among dogs for its majestic and elegant appearance. Male Afghans tend to grow larger than the females and can reach heights of 29 inches. Despite the occasional matting of fur, this dog should fetch a decent price in any case. Number 13, the Dober Wawa. A mix between a Doberman Pinscher and a Chihuahua makes for quite an interesting breed. You can actually splice a Chihuahua with a miniature Pinscher and get something that would look like this. Doberman Pinschers are naturally a great guard dog, but consider making some of these dogs smaller in order to save some money on food. It results in a designer dog, and they share quite a few qualities of both breeds. Number 12, Cockapoos. So what do you get when you mix a Cocker Spaniel and a Poodle? Just a lean, mean, zombie-killing machine, that's what. Cockapoos are the oldest known designer dog, and they make for a loving companion and are basically bred to be a party animal. Sometimes we just need a loving companion to help us get over the fact that the zombie apocalypse is finally here. They're overly friendly, rarely aggressive, and make friends quickly. This popular crossbred spread actually on accident and is only supposed to be created using a purebred poodle and a purebred cocker spaniel. With its pedigree, it's bound to still be a good hunting dog in any case. However, you should be careful when feeding them since they are known to become overweight quite easily. Number 11, the Pulley. This is probably one of the craziest dog breeds ever. It has such a unique look that some people aren't even sure if it's a dog or what it is. It sports the dreadlocks, which almost makes it look like a Rastafarian reggae mon from Kingston. But it's actually a Hungarian sheepdog, which could help you while you're farming during the apocalypse. These are energetic, fun-loving dogs who needs a high-quality diet for it to properly function. While you're trying to keep them at your house, you'll notice how it acts quite like a sheepdog, and this is ingrained in its genetics. 
Some owners have claimed that they trade this animal to round up laundry, and others claim that it's able of keeping birds and other animals from invading their gardens. The pulley might need to enroll into training classes after you pick him up from the dog store, or will most likely end up being aggressive and cautious with strangers. It normally is able to achieve its famous dreadlock-style look after about four years. But at least you won't have to brush him. Number 10. The Tibetan Mastiff This huge, noble dog is known for its solemn but kind expression with an impressive double coat. It's also the most expensive dog in the world, and they have sold for prices of $1.5 million. Its watchful and independent nature makes the Tibetan Mastiff an excellent guardian and companion during the apocalyptic scenarios. Sometimes they can be a little bit too independent and not obey their masters. Number 9. Poodles Smart, intelligent creatures, poodles are easy to train and don't make too much noise. Poodles were widely used in France as a reliable duck hunting companion and aren't as girly as you might think. If you got allergies and you really need a dog for the zombie apocalypse, they've been noted for being one of the best hypoallergenic breeds and their coats can be styled in many different ways. You can even style one to look like a zombie like you see here. Number 8. The Otter Hound this large canine is known to have a great sense of smell. As you can tell from the name, he's a great swimmer and can move around the water like an otter. It actually has webbed feet that can help him glide quicker through pools, streams, or lakes. This makes it a great companion to have while hunting or just to have as a family pooch. This intelligent breed might not get along great with other non-canine animals, but over time, an otter hound and a cat can even learn to become good friends. Just be sure to keep it well-groomed or it might look something like this. They can be very hard to find and require a lot of exercise. Number 7. The Chinook The Chinook is a rare breed of sled dog that originates from New Hampshire and it's their official state dog. The Chinook breed originates from crossbreeding huskies with large mastiff-like dogs. They're basically made to be sled dogs. They can get relatively muscular with a proper diet and are quite powerful. They are very obedient dogs and will basically do whatever you tell them to. If you do decide to own one and don't have a sled, be sure you make the commitment to exercise them often or they'll become restless. Consider using these dogs to power your sled during the zombie apocalypse. Number 6. The Chusky What do you get when you mix a chow with a husky? You get this fluffy beast. But it's really more like a fluff ball of love. They get along great with kids but do require to brush their coats often. It's recommended that you have experience with dogs before handling one of these guys. They have very high levels of energy and they need lots of exercise to keep them from being depressed. They also don't like being left alone for long periods of time. These big dogs can weigh up to 60 pounds and actually make for great watchdogs. Maybe you can even train them to pull your escape sleigh. Number 5. Australian Cattle Dog Mix This is not a dog you want to keep indoors. It's quite muscular and requires a lot of exercise. Despite its excessive barking, it prefers to have large amounts of space to run around. They're native to Australia and are known as the Queenland Healers. It's often suspicious with strangers as well as other dogs. If you're looking for a vigilant watchdog with high amounts of energy and have the space in your backyard, this might be the right dog for you. Number 4. The Bull Pug This adorable mixed breed is a cross between a pug and a bulldog. Cuteness will be in style whether it's apocalypse or not. They have noticeable broad shoulders and a thin coat of fur. He loves attention from family and children, and they make great companions. The crossbreed with a pug results in it becoming much smaller than your average bulldog, but still has noticeable features of bulldogs. They don't require much exercise and are often content with just running around outside for half an hour or so. The short coat doesn't require much attention, and it seems like it would be a good dog to start off with. Pugs used to be Chinese fighting dogs that go for the jugular, so we're sure it's in their genetics somewhere to fight off zombies. Number 3. German Shepherds Dogs are going to stick out as one of the best pets to have during the zombie apocalypse right away. They have super hearing capabilities, a keen nose, and enhancing these senses will certainly help you survive. Dogs are quite trainable, and who says you can't train your dog to fight off zombies? German Shepherds are going to be one of the best breeds, especially since many are loyal and can be trained to attack shooters. German Shepherds have been used by police officers and the military as a key component in their arsenal. They'll help you find food, and you better believe they'll be able to fight off zombies. Number 2. The Bedlington Terrier This strange-looking breed of dog seems to share some resemblance to that of a lamb more than a dog. 
This breed, however, is quite more athletic than you might believe. It's traditionally used for racing and catching rodents. The eyes are rather small and deep set on the head. These dogs are quite playful and make great family companions. The dogs are quite vocal and enjoy barking and usually need to be told when they're overdoing it. The dogs are quite vocal and enjoy barking and usually you might need to tell them when they're overdoing it. And number one, bloodhounds. Bloodhounds have possibly the best sense of smell of all dogs and this will certainly come in handy in the case of a zombie apocalypse. With a name like bloodhounds, they're gonna make this list. It was originally bred in medieval France in order to track down wild boar and deer. We imagine that they might help you be able to track down other survivors to help you during your journey, or maybe they can simply smell when zombies are coming. Although bloodhounds need constant loving attention, which might be hard to give them during the apocalypse, its ability to find other animals will prove to be quite useful. How will you and your dog take on the job of defeating the unliving? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video.